The organizations which represent the rights of the indigenous peoples took turns to ask direct questions to representatives of each political party contesting the upcoming elections. One of the representatives directed a question to the APNU AFC representative Marvin Williams about what the party plans to do for the indigenous peoples. In asking his question, it pointed out that within the past five years, little was done to champion the rights of the country's first peoples. It is regrettable that we didn't get to um, commence as early as we thought we could have, but the process is in fact being taken from the ground. So it is a case where the villages have got to be consulted with, the timings have got to be agreed upon by them, and bringing the various villages to a central point where their leaders and designated representatives will speak for them. There is an ease in the process because there is a push by the indigenous communities which government respects and embraces and that pushes to establish um, the groups such as the South Rupununi District Council. They're Indigenous leadership is pushing and communities are pushing for the establishment of district councils. Gail Teixeira, who represented the People's Progressive Party Civic, was asked to detail her party's plan to revise the Amerindian Act. The People's Progressive Party Civic, and it's in our manifesto by the way as well, that to update the Amerindian Act after consultation with the Amerindian communities, We've made it very clear in our statement to the National Two Shows Conference in 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019 that we are in support, we are not against changes to the Armenian Act, but it must be done on a broad consultative process, going to all the communities and letting them participate in the process. It must not be a top-down approach by the government or any NGO, etc. For their part, the various indigenous representatives made demands for issues such as transportation woes and land titling to be addressed by the new government. Reporting for the Evening News, I am Shamar Allen.